He tū momo kanohi whakatata ahurea te Rose Kaylens i hangaia e te tangata nei o Kirikiri Roa e Pō Rose. Hei pūrangi aho mata anō i ngā tāngata e mate ana i te keratoconus. Keratoconus is a condition where the front of the eye, the cornea, changes its shape and it steepens to become a cone. Kaore rawa he aronga ko tahi tō te rama e fiti atu ana ki a mua o te whatu. Reira e hia ke ngā aronga kai te haere ake i te karu o te tūroro. Nā whai i rehurehu tonu ai te tirohanga atu. E kore e tika i te mōhiti tēnei mate. I nā me whai mata tonu a mua o te whatu kia hei ai i te karu te tiro whakawaho. Using a rigid gas permeable contact lens, we're clearing over that area, we're creating a new round front surface for the eye which eliminates that distortion in behind the cornea and, and gives us that good vision. So the light passes through the pupil, is focused by the cornea, by the lens, and then comes to, a, to rest at a focal point on the back of the eye called the retina. And that has seeing cells. Now, if that focus is exactly right, like a magnifying glass where you get the focal point perfect, you will see well. If that focus is not correct, you will not see well. Kua tūwhera ngā kanohi whakatata mo te hunga mate keratoconus, mai anō i te tau kotahimano e warau e rima te kau. He maha ngā tū momo angi tūtanga. I te mā i tīmata ngā mahi whakangungu optometry a pōl i te tau kotahimano e warau e ono te kau mā iwa, e hangai a tonu ana ngā kanohi whakatata i te ringa. He ua ua ki te whakauru haere. My second patient that I ever saw in private practice when I graduated, was a keratoconus patient. And when I left that practice one year later, I still hadn't successfully fitted that patient with a contact lens. And as I became more and more experienced with keratoconus fittings, uh, I recognised that the average practitioner who didn't see a lot of cases was very ill-equipped to fit them. So I designed what I call a no-brain lens, a lens which was much easier to use. I te tau kotahi mano e warau e waru te kau mārima, ka tīmata ngā mahi mātai me te kanohi whakatata. He oi nā te āhua o te hangarau i e rā wā, ka rite no uru taungia e ia ki tāna i hia hia ai. Typically, the peripheral curves of the lens, which is the fitting part of the lens, were done by hand, and the quality and the results varied dramatically. No te tau ko tahi mano e i warau e i wa te kau, ka tahi ka puta te hangarau computerised lathe ki Aotearoa nei. Ano ko nga tutuki i aia āna moi moia ki te whakakaha ake i āna kanohi whakatata. Whaimuri i tōna hanga i te momo te kau maru a te rahi, ka tahi ka whakaputa hia e ia tana kanohi whakatata tuatahi ki Aotearoa. I te tau ko tahi mano e i warau e i wa te kau. Without the advances in computer layer technology, I could never have done my design. It would have been impossible. Na te ne i fakafana ki tanga hangarau i a he i a po to na fakatutuki tanga na are are koi me te a ta fakatako to i o na mahi hanganga kiroto i o na kano hi fakatata katoa. No ko nei ka tāia e rātau te āta hanga i ngā wāhanga e kia nei ngā kanohi whakatata e rua te kaumā ono te toko maha. They all have different curvatures, so we can fit from very mild keratoconus through to very advanced keratoconus where the eye is protruding a long way out in shape. So what we'll do here, Christian, is we'll pop a little lens on the eye, so looking straight ahead for me there, and I'll just rest that on. Now that lens, have a little blink. That's great. Ka makai a te tai ki raro i ngā kanohi whakatata i te wā e whakauru hia ana, kia ki te ai te tohu ngā kanohi i te āhua o te whakauru o taua mea rā ki runga i te karu. When I first put on the lenses, the difference was like open up your eyes underneath water and then open up your eyes underneath water with goggles on. Things were just kind of, it was like a whole... Like a new world, as everything was like clear and there was a lot more detail going on. E rua te kau ora o ngā tūroro kāre tāe a te faka mau i ngā kano hi faka tata ni. A no ko nā me faka mau i te tahi atu kano hi faka tata ngā wari ki raro i ho. So this just goes onto the eye. It has no 
effect. It doesn't make Murray see any better, it just provides purely the comfort for the rigid lens. The rigid lens fits over the top of that, and this, this is the part that provides the vision for Murray. So that simply sits over the top of the soft lens, so that now the rigid lens is not in direct contact with the eye. It, it makes Murray much, much more tolerant of the lenses. She can wear them all her days without any problems, whereas trying to fit her directly onto the cornea would cause problems. I roto i te ao, ko tahi o ngā tāngata, ko tahi mano o ka pāngia e tēnei mate. He oi he kaha ake i Aotearua nei. E toko toru ki te toko rima o ngā tāngata, ko tahi mano o te iwi Māori me ngā moutere, ka pāngia e tēnei mate. A, he nui ake i te tāngata pākeha. Any country which is isolated by geography, um, by culture, um, by religion, has a high incidence of, of keratokonus. So, for example, the Middle East has a very high incidence of keratoconus. But I think it's our isolation geographically which uh, has caused to be higher in New Zealand. I te tau ko tahi mano eiwarau eiwa te kau mawaru, ka whakaputahia e Paul te Rose Kay lens too. Ka mutu he pai ake i tērā o mua. E toru ngā marama o te tau kei tā wāhi āia e whakangungu ana i tōna kanohi ki runga i ngā tūroro o te ao. It's a very satisfying role because you transform these patients. Most keratoconics, once they become, uh, once the disease manifests, within a few years are technically blind. In other words, they just couldn't function in a normal job. Te kau mā toru ngā motu o te ao e hanga ana i te Rose Kayland. Ono te kau ngā motu e hoko ana i enei kanohi whakatata. Ko inei te kanohi whakatata pairawa mo te mate keratoconus. Keratoconus.